Hey everybody, my name is John Kay, and I'm going to show you a bit about the game we've been working on called Vessel. So what is Vessel? Vessel is a puzzle platformer game, uh, and you play the role of Arkwright, an inventor. So the unique thing we're doing in this game is our uh, liquid simulation, and all the mechanics and things we build off of that. So you can see here that uh, we have simulated liquid in the game, and it's never just a decoration, it's always used for the gameplay. Uh, used various ways through the mechanics and um, deeply integrated with the puzzles and everything so it's not not an aesthetic thing so here the player has the ability to uh, kind of splash around in this fountain but he can also use some equipment he has he has his backpack which lets him suck and spray water so we can suck up this water from the fountain here you can see it filling up our backpack and then we're able to spray it back out so that gives us the ability to control liquid a bit, we can put it in different places, you know, you can collect different types of liquid in your backpack. Uh, there's other types of liquid you can mix together later in the game. So the backpack gives you a lot of power in controlling liquid. You can suck it up, store it, uh, use it in all kinds of different ways, but what really gives you power in this game is Arkwright's main invention, which is the fluoro. And the fluoro is a liquid automaton, a machine made out of liquid. And uh, one of the ways you can create them is with these seeds. So you take one of these, pull it out of your inventory, you have an unlimited number of these, and you put it into any liquid source. So here you can see it's attracting the liquid from this fountain. So we'll go ahead and drop that there. You see that once it gets enough liquid, it's going to grow into this creature. So this is an operator fluoro. This is the player's uh, first invention, and it's used all over the world for performing labor. And factories and work sites. And this variant will go and operate the machinery in the level, so it'll find different things it can do and push these buttons for you. And just kind of mindlessly do its job. So uh, because it's made out of liquid, it maintains all the properties that liquid has in the level. So for example, um, you can suck it up, say I empty out my backpack a bit here, you can suck it up back in your backpack, collect it right back up like that. They're kind of fragile creatures, so uh, they're easily destroyed, but they're also easily replaced because you have unlimited these seeds. You're only limited by the liquid sources, so wherever you have a liquid source, you can basically bring the liquid to life, create as many of these workers as you want. So some of the things you can do with these guys, if you, you step on them, they'll get squished, but you can recycle them. It's kind of blurring that boundary between inanimate liquid and this, this kind of living liquid form. And we play on that a lot throughout the guys here helping us out. Let us get through this easy puzzle here and I'll show you the next section below. So a lot of the puzzles in Vessel come from understanding how uh, these different properties of liquid work and the different liquids that you find in the game and then thinking of ways that you can bring that liquid to life and using it to solve whatever obstacle you're facing. So I don't want to give away too much, but here's a simple example, one of the first puzzles. You need, there's this door you need to open, but you can't uh, get it yourself. You're going to need one of your operator fluoros to operate this machinery. But the liquid source is out of our reach, so if we pull out one of our seeds, and we're not able to attract that liquid all the way over there. But there's this underground river, and you can see that this liquid is being affected by the suction of this seed wants to get to that seed. It's got this molecular attraction to it. We come over here and we see there's this grate. So we can't pass through this grate, but liquid can. If we plant one of our seeds here, it's going to grow into a fluoro. And that gives us the help we need to get through this door. Thank you. So I'll give you a quick look at one of our later levels. This is the orchard. This is one of the locations that uses Arkwright's fluoro invention to do uh, cheap labor. Uh, since Arkwright invented the fluoro, they've been used all over the world for cheap, you know, virtually free labor because it's the only resource you need is liquid. But over the years, they've started to change. They started to merge with the machinery of the world. Uh, they've even started to evolve, and they're starting to take over these uh, work sites and these new forms that are found. So Arkwright's role is to go to these work sites, uh, figure out the problem with the fluoros, and uh, correct them, solve these problems, and along the way he picks up the different evolutions and kind of natural changes that have been happening to these fluoros, and he can add them to his arsenal. 
So he'll collect a number of different uh, seeds through his adventures here, and you can kind of pick which ones you want to uh, deploy in the world, different ways you can bring liquid to life. But only the first one is his invention, the rest are just evolutions he finds in the field. So here's an example of um, fluoros that have merged with the biology of the world. So this tree is rigged up so that it grows fluoros. So if you spray water into this, it's going to create this uh, blue fruit type creature on the, on the branches. And if we grab this tree, give it a shake, the fruit's going to fall off and grow into a fluoro. So this is a new type of liquid that, um, different from water, this is like a blue, blue fruit pulp suck it up into our backpack. We're able to store it. So it's one way to harvest this liquid. We can convert water into blue goo by watering these trees and harvesting the fruit, basically. So the fluoro itself that's growing is kind of a special variety. It's a little different than the operator one we saw earlier. Let's take a look at him. This is a drinker fluoro. So what this guy does is he is attracted to liquid of the type that he's made of. So that blue pulp that we um, collected earlier, we can spray over here in a little puddle and he's going to come over and drink it up. And since he's made out of liquid, he's able to just incorporate that right into his body. So we're able to animate this liquid, bring this liquid to life, and then we can control it by uh, adding more liquid where we need it to go. So it's a way to, to gain control of your environment. It's a critical element in these puzzles. But this particular creature has an evolutionary flaw, which you just saw, that if he drinks up too much liquid, he explodes. He's like a goldfish. He, he eats himself to death. And that itself is something that you can use to your benefit. So understanding what behaviors you're bringing to these liquids when you animate them, and then using that to solve puzzles uh, is uh, the key for most of the mechanics in this game. So over here we've got these three buttons we need to press to open those doors, but we can't get through because there's this grating in the way. And we can't get through this grating because we're uh, a normal human, but something made out of liquid would have no problem getting through that grating. So what we need to do is lure this creature into the button area. And knowing his behaviors, knowing that he likes to drink up liquid that he's made of, we can uh, apply a spray liquid down in this little chute here. So if we go drip some blue goo, oh, he's going to try to drink it up there. He got a little bit, but send him on down below. And he's going to run into position, and now if we just keep flooding it, we know his behavior that he explodes if he drinks too much. So if we get him to just drink it all up, he's going to explode in position and open those doors for us. So that's one of the keys to this game, is understanding how to bring this liquid to life uh, and give it behaviors that are going to be beneficial to you. And we, we play a lot on that theme throughout the, the story and the, the visuals of the game. So that's a look at Vessel. We're going to be launching on March 1st on PC and consoles at a later date. So stay tuned for more videos on our website, strangeloopgames.com. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.